So greetings from uh, Sao Beach, S-A-O, I think it's pronounced Sao. Uh, it took us about uh, 60, I'm going to say almost an hour and a half to get here actually. We got here and finally sat down where we're sitting right now and I'll show you where we're sitting relative to the beach and everything here in a minute. But um, we got here about 10.30 and uh, I think we left, I think we finished breakfast about 9. So it's been amazing. And uh, I definitely want to share a lot of this with you. This is absolutely gorgeous. We played a 120,000 dong for these two chairs that were in underneath this uh, umbrella thingy that's handmade from palm fronds and stuff, which is $5.23. It's amazing. And we're ready. So off we go. And, okay, so let me show you this thing. I'll show you from the uh, beach, or sorry, from looking towards the beach side. <clears throat> so we pull up in, and uh, motorbike parking is free, which is awesome. So, and also I've noticed, I've taken some pictures and I can see that uh, it's kind of hard to see some stuff. It's kind of dark. Um, anyway, so here's our little palapa and these two chairs. Uh, and I'll actually, so as I walk to the beach, I'll show you how they did our receipt. Um, so this is kind of cool. The guy comes by and he looks at us and I'm like, yeah, we paid. He's like, oh, okay. So then he staples this, which is cool. So it's very official. Um, and so as part of the continuing video series of, uh, hey, how's it going? Welcome to 2017 with Mike. And uh, I hope you live in the dream. All part of livemyassoff.com. Uh, we took a, a motorbike ride. It took us... It took, I'm going to say about 90 minutes, actually, because I stopped a couple of times. Um, oh, so here's what was funny. So we rent this motorbike, right? And at first it was like 350,000 dong a day. And then he uh, said it was like, or 500,000 dong for two days, uh, or for three days, it's 600,000 dong. 600,000 dong. So we agreed on that. And I had seen some videos about other guys that had come here and rented motorbikes. And one of the things they commented on is that they, they said it wasn't so bad and you really didn't need to leave too much of a deposit, um, but you needed to leave your passport. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. And uh, so I have a copy of my passport that I travel with. One of the things I should do when I travel is immediately after getting a visa or the visa stamp when I come into a country, I should find the nearest copy place and take a copy of that. Because that actually uh, is about as equally as important as the uh, the actual the permission to come in. It kind of says, well, here's when you came in and here's when you, we expect you to leave, dude. So unfortunately, uh, so, so uh, luckily though, for the motorbike, the guy didn't even ask for that. He goes, oh, so basically I need my name, I need the hotel I'm staying at, uh, and, here's what was, and here's the other reason why it took us 90 minutes to get here, is he's got like three conditions on there, and it's like, obey the traffic laws, you know, don't be an, don't be an idiot, kind of thing. Um, and it was in Vietnamese as well as English. And then the third one, and uh, it says, whatever you do, don't drive over 40 kilometers an hour. And I'm like, okay, well, that's, you know, cool because, um, you know, I'm pretty cautious on the motorbike, especially Vietnam uh, and, and Thailand. When we were in Sikihor in the Philippines, I wasn't too concerned about it, but uh, it was, uh, it's, the driving here is a challenge. So in any case, uh, I said, okay, 40 kilometers an hour. And jo I said something joking to, to, um, to Gracie about that. Uh, and he pointed to it actually and he was like look dude I don't care of well, he didn't say dude he said but look I don't care about any of the other rules do not drive over 40 kilometers an hour and I'm thinking okay what's the deal he said um, he said well he said between 40 and 50 kilometers if they pull you over you'll get fined um, I think he said uh, one and a half million dong uh, and he said between 50 and 60, it's uh, 3 million dong. And he said, and then when you come back, then I have to pay 900,000 dong. And I said, okay, well, that's a pretty big motivator to, to not speed, which is fine. Um, 
and uh, there's a part of me that really didn't need one, but it's actually a nice reminder because it's pretty easy to just, you know, not even look down and all of a sudden you're going 50 kilometers an hour, which is slow, right? But the point is, is that um, it took us a little longer to get here than Google said it would, which was 31 minutes by Google Maps. Uh, but um, where we were, uh, it was, uh, I believe, it was 28 kilometers. Does that sound right? Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like 25, 30 kilometers. And so at the end of the day, uh, basically Google believes that you can go 60 kilometers an hour, which I believe is the posted speed limit. I don't know, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that uh, I did not need to give this guy my passport. I And the other nice thing is we went to it really, literally within walking distance, meaning it took us like two minutes, literally, from our hotel to walk down to this guy's place. His name is Mai, spelled M-A-Y. He owns a restaurant. He provides tours. He does... Um, he does motorbike rentals, and uh, he also naturally knows the family that owns the house we're staying in. So that was awesome. Um, and so that was pretty cool. So here we are, SAO Beach. Look up that if you'd like on Google. It is in the southeastern part of, um, of uh, Fuqua Island. And I've reached the end of the beach, so I'm going to turn around and walk around. And, uh, you know, as I spend time here here's what i was thinking for, for today here's what was in my mind is as of yesterday it's been two weeks and in my experience it takes me by the time i've hit two weeks i am ready to do this for the rest of my life <laughs> and because because that is something that i've been thinking about a lot for like four years now um I'll tell you, it's a it's a really good excuse. God, I can't. I hope the wind isn't too horrible right now. Uh, but in any case, if it is, it is. Uh, but um, but yeah, today it really hit me because actually yesterday was 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 two weeks. I got here Sunday, um, landed in Cebu, and then we spent some time there and did a whole bunch of legal paperwork, visa stuff, uh, and then from there. Uh, traveled around a bit and then here we are in Vietnam. So anyway, so two weeks as of yesterday um, and uh, So today I'm like I still have another two weeks and I'm like I Just want to just do this for the rest of my life, man. I'm telling you it is um, It is amazing how many freaking gorgeous beaches there are Basically untouched. I'll here's an example of the untouchedness of it, right? So there's, I mean, there's trash. I get it. That comes up from the, you know, the ocean and that sort of thing. So there's garbage, whatever. But at the end of the day, there's like just this sand and wood and, um, you know, actual like real coconuts, ones that, <laughs> ones that are real, like from a tree and that sort of thing. Versus this kind right here, which you know totally came from like a resort or something like that. You know, someone like lopped it off and cut it out and was gonna was gonna eat it, right? Uh, and um, I like this sort of stuff. It, you know, it reminds me of my house in Mexico, and that unfortunately at that time in our lives no one was YouTube and so um, in fact you know what was funny is I set up a live webcam down there this was in 1999 I think I started down there and of course I had desktop computers because at the time a, la a laptop was quite the luxury uh, and I had those connected to satellite internet and everything so I had these cameras I had these webcams on either side of the house north and south uh, and it looked up and down the beach in the Baja uh, and then I had this website that basically I just said, you know, good morning from the South Camps. Um, and it was south of San Felipe. And uh, so I had these webcams and put up there. And I thought, yeah, this would be kind of neat. I put it up there. And then I was like, ah, shit, no one's ever going to watch streaming video on the Internet. <laughs> right. Absolutely. No one's going to ever come to Vietnam to vacation. We're only going to go to war with these people. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, Anyway, so uh, another video for 2017. So uh, I got to tell you guys, it is very, very easy to live the dream, I can tell you. You could argue that, yeah, Mike, it cost you, you know, a thousand bucks or whatever for your commute. And uh, 
And yeah, maybe that's expensive or whatever for a vacation. But let me tell you something, you make it over here and you can do stuff so cheap. I mean, even the res from a US perspective, the, the most expensive resort I've been able to find here on this island in Vietnam is not as expensive as one of the bungalows in Coronado at the Hotel Del. So if that's any comparison. And guess what the weather's like in Coronado right now? It's shit. So I would prefer to do this all day long. So anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of this. Seau Beach on the island of Phu Qua in southern Vietnam, just off the coast of Cambodia. I hope this video finds you well and I hope you're living the dream. Because if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. Ciao.